a lot of people you always hear about outsource, outsource, delegate, yeah. delegate. When do you think people need to get to the point where they are doing it? Like, like what are things that people shouldn't let go of and things that people should let go of immediately that generally yeah. they hold on too long? So again, I won't say shouldn't, shouldn't, but I would say if you're optimizing towards making the most money, then you have to trade up uh, in higher leverage activities. So it's, what do I, so leverage is just defined as the difference between inputs and outputs in a system. So if I do this, then I get this output. And so the leverage is the discrepancy between that. So if I have a one-to-one -one ratio, I have low leverage. If I have a one-to-ten ratio, I have higher leverage, right? And so um, when we are leveling up as entrepreneurs, we need to trade out the things that we get one to two on and trade in things that we get one to 20 on. And you just keep trading the whole way up and you just keep going. And that's the kind of unending infinite game of business. What do you think is like the number one thing that people shouldn't delegate? Like when you start a company, right? Yeah. You have a passion behind it. There's still something like, what's the, what's the point you get to when you're just like, it's, you're not even, you just collect a check and you don't even like live in the world of that business anymore. Like, do you think everyone should get to that? Or like even with acquisition.com or some yeah. of your stuff, like, do you think there'd be a point where you're like, I don't literally do anything. I just own it. Yeah. I don't need to look at it ever. Like, it, do, do you lose the interest and the passion for it when it gets to that point though? Well, if you get to that point, then you're probably inherently disinterested. So if you like, so again, I won't do shoulds. If you, if you like doing something, then by all means do it. If you're optimizing for how much money can I make, then it's theoretically, if you can get someone to do the same thing that you're doing and do it for less than hundred percent of your equity, then you trade up. Okay, and if you sense. get lots of people to do that, then you make more money. So the idea is to actually is solve for zero. So if you solve for no time, no energy, then you have infinite leverage on that thing. And so if you have lots of zeros, then you have all your time and you have checks that are coming in. In terms of like life fulfillment, that's a totally different question. Um, but if you have no commitments and you have cash flow that's going in, then if you want to, you could pursue the next business, you know, if that's what you were interested in, or if you like painting or whatever, you know what I mean? Um, so what are the things that people shouldn't outsource? Nothing. You should be able to, you know, you can outsource whatever you want. I think it's just what goals, you know, what goals do you have? If you love painting and your whole business is painting, as soon as you hire painters, you're no longer painting anymore. Is that what you wanted? Yeah. Some people, yeah, some people know. Because the difference is if a painter wants to make money painting, that is different than somebody wanting to start a painting business. And so one is a business career, the other is a technician career. And a lot of people, and that's actually a really big one. A lot of people who are technicians love the craft and hate the business. And they need to decide whether they want to be business people or they want to be technicians. And I don't think there's a right or wrong answer. They just need to decide for themselves and then stop their expectations about having both. Because the businessman wishes he could paint all day. The painter wishes he could make the money of the businessman. Turn it off.